Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Love As We Know It. I'm Bay. I'm Elle. And we are just two women here to talk about love, life, and everything in between. So I ask that you guys bear with us. We are very new to this whole podcast Super new. thing. Super so new. as we get our lives together, we ask that you guys have some patience as we start this thing out. So how are you feeling today, Elle? I feel amazing. Amazing? I feel amazing. Why do you feel amazing? I had some good old breakfast at the Indigo. At this the morning. Indigo. It was amazing. And I married the love of my life yesterday. We did. And we got married amazing. yesterday. Boom! <laughs> oh, my bad. Yeah, we got married yesterday. And nothing nothing really big and extravagant. Um, we actually won't have our ceremony until next May. Hello. But we are both two active duty members. And of course, if anybody knows anything about the military life, you have to get married sometimes sooner than you anticipate getting married in order for you to finally be able to be stationed together. Because we are in two completely different states right now, and we are long distance and have been long distance. Uh, for, for quite some time now for the bulk of our relationship so sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do but we already knew we wanted to marry each other so it wasn't like it was rushed in the sense that we didn't know we wanted to get married so let's just get married no. we already knew and we were already engaged big so. facts big facts but we'll tell you guys all about that Actually, I think today. Yeah, let's do it. We're going to start off about telling y'all how we met. Somebody slid into my DM. We Lies. Even, we ain't going to even go into that. Lies. Somebody slid into my <laughs> DM talking about what's good, shouty. But we ain't going to even go into that. I'm going so, to let her tell her version, and I'll give my two cents no, on my version. Actually, you know, I would prefer for Elle to tell her oh version God, because... Bro. I would like to hear all the lies that she tells before I actually give what happened with me. So, <clears throat> yesterday, yes, after we got married, mm. we went again. out. Say that again. Say that again. Say that again. After we got married, mm. Give me a kiss. we went out. <laughs> mm. Mm. Okay. So, we went out, and I ended up having a really bad allergic reaction to whatever was in the area of the place that we were in. I have no idea what it was that set me off. So I apologize for my voice. I was freaking out. I was ready to go and go get her medicine because we were having dinner and she was itching, doing all this stuff. (laughs) And I was nervous because I ain't never seen her like that. I know she talk about having allergic reactions, but I ain't never seen it in the flesh. So I was a little nervous, but um, we made it. And we had dinner, and it was amazing. Um, what was the name of the place, right? Tower of the Americas. Tower of the Americas. Amazing. Food was amazing. Spot was amazing. Revolving around San Antonio was amazing. Um, I we did. We had a great time considering the fact that I was having a full-on allergic reaction. <laughs> But we pushed through. I couldn't taste any of the food anymore at that point. Um, Totally lost my voice at one point. I tasted Um, food for it. Couldn't breathe. So. (laughs) Had a lot going on. uh, She tasted all my food for me and let me know what it tasted like. That's love, girl. And she said it was good. It was good. I say all that to say I apologize for my voice because right now I still have some residual effects going on. I think it's sexy. You know, I think it's sexy. She always thinks my voice is sexy. So she likes it best when it's at its deepest Rawr. and raspy. Rawr. Raspy voice. I don't sound like a, what is that? Like a sick cat? No, you don't say? sound like a sick cat. You sound like a sexy girl sex <laughs> operator. <laughs> what was the row? <laughs> 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 Like you welcoming me to a haunted house, like, and I, don't know, I don't sound like that. So anyway, 
<laughs> we'll get into it, um, and we'll talk about how we met. So, Elle, you want to talk about how we met? So, I was on the book. Um, didn't really do the LGBT groups on the book, but I was feeling spontaneous. Um, so, I jumped into this group. Um, and my intentions was just to go in the group, kind of fill things out, fill people out not really looking for anything in particular. I was in the group for like a week. And then uh, the following week, people like to post pictures. I seen this young tender picture of this young tender pepperoni. And um, she was amazingly beautiful. She was laying, it looked like she was laying on a bed. Um, She had on a a t-shirt, Come to find out, it was a military T-shirt. I really wasn't paying attention to that because you were because you used it to get me to talk. To See, you. I don't remember. That's that's why. So we let me tell right you. Here. So oh, she gonna t- steal my thunder? I'm not. Go ahead. So I looked at that hair. That her. Mm, her hair was just all over the place, laying on the pillows. And the first thing I zoomed in on was her roots. Her roots. I wanted to make sure that was her hair. And when I seen <laughs> that that was her hair, I instantly fell in love. And to top that off. Superficial. She's superficial. No, I'm not. To top that <laughs> off, them eyes. Whew. It's just something about her eyes. To this day, I like the sun to hit her eyes. They are so amazingly brown and beautiful. So I was taken away by her picture. And I took a chance. And I slid in a DM. So I lied earlier. It was me. I slid in the DM. Don't recall what I said, but I'm sure she will let you know what I said. But um, she said that my message was sincere. And um, she ended up hitting me back. And it kind of went from there. I'm going to keep mine short and sweet. She's more detailed than I am. I am. I slid in. She responded. And we right here, right now. Mm. Thank you, Facebook. (laughs) <laughs> right bringing people together every day tearing them down just as quick so <laughs> we're having some technical difficulties over here so anyway um so I, I usually keep my facebook deactivated my facebook had been deactivated for probably about two and a half years. And the only reason why I can't even came back on Facebook was because I started medical school and my class had a Facebook page on there and that's how we communicated. So I reactivated it. And I think at that time it had been reactivated for maybe like a year or so. And I was just on there one day and I was bored Mm. Uh, taking a break in between studying. That's what she calls it, bored. And I decided to just join a group. And what's so funny is that the group that we were in, I joined it, like I requested to join it, and then took back my request. And then the next day requested to join it, and then they accepted me. So everybody else had been posting pictures, and you know, the attention getter pictures come look at me pictures pictures. (laughs) and so at first I was like well I don't know if I'm gonna post a picture or not because you know Elle will tell you I'm very Mm. low-key I I play the background you know I'm a very much a people person I'm like a introverted extrovert so I'm extroverted when I need to be but introverted when I'm by myself and having my alone time and so I feel like I don't like a lot of attention brought to myself. I don't request it. I don't need it. And the only person I need attention from is the person that I'm with. So I don't go out seeking attention from other people. But then I was like, I just joined the group. So I'll post a quick headshot, kept my body totally out of it. And literally, I had just taken my hair down. I was about to wash my hair. I laid on the bed. Can you stop? please mm. stop stop because you're nasty <laughs> so i laid on the bed and i took a picture and i posted a headshot mm. and that was it it was the day that i joined the group and i was just like hey it's me blah, blah, blah. i don't even know it hadn't even been a full day 
And then I got an inbox mm. from somebody. Who was it? And so I checked the message, and I'm a person who never responds to people that they don't know. And I went and I checked the message, and it was from L. I mm. read it. It was super, super sincere. And I didn't reply. <laughs> I read it. And I didn't reply right away. I went and I looked at her profile picture. Now, I'm going to be honest. Boom. The profile picture didn't even get me because I looked at it. And I have very specific things about her that I love, absolutely love, love, love about her face. And not a single one of them was in those pic- in that picture. And so I looked at the picture. <laughs> I looked at the picture and I didn't find her attractive in that picture. Right. But she was a really nice person. So I said, okay, we're about to be Facebook buddies. So she just called me ugly on the low. I'm listening, babe. Keep that going. is not what I said. Keep going, babe. It's okay. I didn't say she was unattractive. I said I didn't find her attractive, and there's a difference. No? Okay. So, <laughs> but she was sweet. And so I hit her back. And the shirt I had on in the picture happened to be a military PT shirt. And she noticed that. And she used that. To break down my walls mm. and get me to respond, she break thinks she's slick. So th- that's just so nasty. Babe, I'm talking you about, talk about breaking I'm talking walls. About you talk about communication. You talk about breaking walls. You know what you're talking about. Communication. Don't start. We can get the same thing with the podcast. Why are you trying to make me nasty? I'm not. You talking about? You have Why, to break look down key, look at the barriers no, for communication no. with your walls. Barriers are walls, baby. No. I love you. And then you say. Mm. 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 And then you start talking about walls. Oh my god. Okay. <laughs> she thinks she's slick. We listening. Oh, oh my goodness. So I hit her back. Mm. What happened? And from there, it just all kind of took off from there. Now, mind you, I don't meet people online like that. You know what I mean? And at the time, I was a very, very, very happy single woman. Single. Like, I mean, like, giddy happy. I go down in the day. I wasn't doing down. nothing. Mm-hmm. Nothing. Mm-hmm. You weren't doing nothing? So I'll let Ella finish telling the story at that point. So what had happened was, it goes down in the DM. That's what happened. Uh, so we started communicating, and... She was right. She was real happy with being single. She was real to herself. Um, We would text. And then she wanted me to hear her voice because I kept asking to hear it. She's a lie. I didn't want her to hear it. I wanted to hear her voice. She requested to hear it. Request. Here we go. I requested to hear her voice. And she used to send me these little voice messages on little apps on the phone or whatever. So I always want more. Um, it wouldn't be right if I didn't so I asked her could we video chat she didn't really know about that so I broke the ice broke down the walls and um, I sent her a video and I believe in that video she found me extremely attractive in that moment the video was 3 minutes and 10 seconds long (laughs) (laughs) And I, in the video, she sent it to me. She's actually telling me about this other female that she's been kicking it with. Yeah. And that's what the, the video was about. But it was important for her to, for me to be able to see her face as she was telling me what was going on between her and this other female. And so she didn't want me to misunderstand anything. And she felt if I could see her face, it would make things make more sense. It would make things be more clear. And when I saw her in the video, she had on a hat, which I have grown to love her in hats. But that's because how she presented herself to me was in a hat. And when I tell you the way she looked in the video compared to her Facebook profile picture, it was like night and day. Wow. And I was like, "Can you? why do you keep growling? Who does know, that? It's Saturday. No. No, no growling. Who is that even a growl? It's a re- growl, a growl. It's a growl, right? Growl. Like 
get what over here. Give me a kiss. No. Uh, that was your <laughs> breath. <laughs> She's like, me. She, she looks scared. <laughs> like, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Why do you keep growling? <laughs> I'm not I don't going. know. I don't know. Okay. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> out of control so anyway that video is three minutes and ten seconds long Mm. and i've watched that video numerous times not because necessarily of what she was saying but because it was the only thing i had that really allowed me to see her face and like most of the things that i love about her face is the things she does with her face when she talks and she has no idea what those things are because I won't tell her because I feel like if she's aware of the things that I do love about her face, it'll become something that's forced that she tries to do because she knows I like it nope. versus just things that she does naturally on her own because that's part of what I love is that she has no idea that she does it. Mm-hmm. So I will never tell her <laughs> the things that I love about her face. Thanks, babe. Um, because I don't want to influence that because that's something that I get to look at every day. Mm-hmm. And I don't mm-hmm. want to take that away from me. Forever, ever. So she was dating a female and I felt really bad because I feel like I s- took her from this woman even though they weren't really together. Big facts. Was not in a relationship. Was not together. Dating. Remarks complete. I still felt bad. I did And so one thing you guys will learn about me (laughs) is that I am not selfish by any means. And so I felt that she should try to work it out with the girl. And Ella was like... Yeah, she was like, team, I don't know who you are, but I'm on your team. Um, Not interested. (laughs) I'm like, what are you doing? I'm trying to get to know you. But um, she came from a good place with it. Uh, I just wasn't... That wasn't someone I could see myself with or see myself having something serious with so um it wasn't a big issue i was open to meet other people and i'm glad i was uh, because i probably wouldn't be laying here recording this young podcast with you if i wouldn't took a chance on uh bay over here looking at me with these bedroom eyes while i drink this champagne So what else, babe? So, you know, I think it's interesting that Ella always puts the, like, she puts the bulk of everything on me to continue and make things happen. What else? What next? You talk first. You do this first. Motivate me. It's always like that with me. (laughs) Anyway, uh, so then just fast forward. Like I said, we're in two different states. So I think we realized probably about maybe two or three weeks in that we actually really did like each other. Yeah, it was cool. Um, I was feeling her. Our feelings have been on the same page the entire, literally the entire time we've known each other. Um, So we will fast forward to (laughs) how we finally first met in person. So like I said, we're in two different states and we're communicating back and forth. I'm in school, so I really don't, have much time because medical school literally takes my entire life and then for her she's in her PhD program so it takes a ton of her life too so we're both in very high demanding programs and we're about two months in of knowing each other and she hits me up one day and she's like hey if I were to come visit Mm -hmm. when would be the best time for you if I decided to come visit. So mm. I gave her some dates. Actions speak louder than And words. I promise you, it was like maybe two days. Two days. Not even, was it two days later? No, it might have been like a day or so later. I get a screenshot of a flight itinerary. And I'm just thinking, <laughs> oh, okay, these are some possible options we got. <laughs> You know, to make this happen. No, she had bought the ticket. Big facts. Didn't even have a return ticket. Nope. Just, I'm coming to see you take it. Yep. And the way that I am, I usually would have gone off if somebody had done this. They'd have been coming here and they'd have been by themselves. But <laughs> <laughs> that's how I knew I really liked her. Because when she sent it to me, I was like, all right, okay. let me let me make sure I clear out my schedule <laughs> when she sent it. You know, and 
I'm gonna tell you guys one thing about her that I actually love and appreciate is that she is legit about what she says. If she tells you I'm doing this, guess what? It's happening. Big facts. And so it was even like when she proposed to me and was mm-hmm. ready to propose to me, she was dead serious. Wow. She looked at Ring. If she growls one more time, <laughs> I promise you this but podcast is getting shut with off. The, it comes Why? With it. Why? It's right? No, it's, it's not. It's I said, funny. where, Baby. where in here does a rock? That's like excitement. No, that's my excitement. Please. No, it's not. Like <laughs> where? What I said warranted a growl proposal. That's sexy. You don't think so? So the the row yeah. is for sexy stuff. Okay. No. Yes, ma'am. You said <laughs> she likes it. She likes no, it. No, I don't. Like it it sounds like you know when you when you got a burp. And the burp is working its way up your chest. It does not sound but like you that. open your mouth up so you hear the burp like working its way up through your through your neck. <laughs> but you hear the sound coming out your mouth. You know what I'm talking about? No. It makes like a That's gross. It does not sound <laughs> like that. Okay. I I'm, I'm gonna keep them to a minimum, but I will I <laughs> Wow today. Can you can you stop them? Okay, baby. <laughs> That's I'm stopping. Like 10 I'm stopping. Hours. You ought to see how she's looking at me. Oh, my I'm gosh. Suck your face, girl. You're going to stop looking at me. And if she keep rolling, she ain't going to be sucking nothing for a while. Really? <laughs> <laughs> Lies. All right, baby. Go ahead. We're listening. Anyway, you know that's a lie. Mm-hmm. It won't take much. Mm-hmm. So, anyway. Um, <laughs> so, like I said, even when she proposed, it was, I know I want to marry you. And next thing I know, I get a request, can you please meet me at a jewelry store so we can look at rings? And I didn't want to pick my own ring or anything like that. It literally was, uh, she just wanted to get an idea and feel for what I liked before she picked mine. And then it was like, I got the ring. I don't want you to get nervous. I am proposing today, but I just want you to know I got the ring so you know that I'm serious about the fact that I want to marry you. And that's the kind of person that she is. So it's just... If she tells you she's serious about something, he, I'm serious. It's happening. It's going down no matter what. So anyway, that's basically, that was my first encounter mm. with her many, being about her business. How many encounters you don't have? And I'm not used to dating people who are really about their business. Usually mm. that's me in a relationship. So that was a first for me. Mm. And then it got closer for us to meet. Yeah. And she's about to have a whole nervous breakdown. You want to talk about? (laughs) You want to talk about how you felt? I was freaking out internally, like because it's easy to talk on the phone with somebody and have that communication, and you laugh and you joke and you play, and then when you get on that plane and you about to hyperventilate when it's time to get off and you don't know what to do with yourself, so you're stopping by the little kiosk getting chapstick getting gum making sure you're locked in your hands a little ashy your little lotion just her hands stay ashy. freaking out my hand does stay ashy I, I work i work i work for a living um but i was like super nervous and i had told her that um i wanted uh she said she was coming into the airport so i didn't want to know where she was at i wanted to see her before she seen me and she gave me that because I did. I did see her uh, before she seen me. But when I walked up, it was like, oh! I was like, oh my God, so. this girl is beautiful. <laughs> like, her pictures gave her no justice. She was over there looking like an old Nubian queen. Them eyes was popping. That hair was on fleek. And she was sitting there just looking all sweet. And I was so nervous. That I couldn't even look at her, so I just went in for a hug real quick, like ah, hey, and I let her tell you the rest because she claimed that I was looking super crazy, but I don't remember anything because I kind of like blacked out. Um, <laughs> but um, yeah. So <clears throat> I was uh, super nervous going in, not nearly as nervous as she was. She was feeling like she needs some shots. Thanks. and I all kind of drink. stuff, and oh, I yeah, wouldn't let her let drink. drink. I would not let her drink because I felt like if if we're meeting each other, we're both nervous, but we're gonna enjoy every bit of this nervousness with a sober mind, and oh, yeah, we're gonna was... go in remembering this moment because it was a it, to me it was a big moment, you know. 
I never I had had somebody fly in to meet me because I don't meet people online. But then on top of that, I'm about to spend four days with mm. somebody I have never met personally before in my life. That's a lot. It was a lot. And it's a lot to take in. So I was very nervous, but not nearly as nervous as her because I'm so accustomed to dealing with people. And uh, the deal was is that we were going to try to see each other at the same time. That's what it was supposed to be. But somebody didn't wait and just came around the corner. But the funny thing was is that we're kind of clear across baggage claim and we can't really make out each other's faces. But I looked up and she was looking at me and it was like we knew exactly who we were looking at (laughs) even though we had never seen each other in person before and we walked over to each other and she had her rbf going super hard really that she always has and i said hi you know i'm very bubbly and smiley and i gave her a huge hug but i kid you not if she wasn't affectionate I would have thought she was disappointed in what she saw she didn't (laughs) like me she didn't want to be there because her nervousness makes her not talk it makes her not look at you it makes her not smile it makes her hands shake a little bit and so (laughs) I was mad nervous but in my head I was thinking oh I'm about to die no I was gonna give her a hug I just wanted to keep hugging her to let her know that I cared and that I was happy to see her. But my face was saying, I need to get back on this plane. I don't know what I'm doing. What are we about to do? I'm scared. You know, like I had so many emotions going on and it showed on my face. And I, to this day, that's still like a work in progress. I don't know how to, I don't know how to um, fix that. That's just, that's just me. I got RBF. So, um, but I made sure I interacted with her. I touched her. I she looked did. at her for t- from time to time um, just to let her know that I was extremely happy. Even though I didn't look happy, I was, like, super hyped and super nervous at the same time. So She's very affectionate, like, super, super affectionate. And that was the only thing that let me know that everything was cool. And it's one of those situations where... You know there's certain things that are going to happen during the visit, but you don't know at what points they're going to happen. Like, we talked about the first kiss. And we just kind of talked about it in general because she had really wanted to kiss me for a while. And I loved to kiss, too. So then we were like, we knew we were going to kiss each other at some point. Uh, So it was like one of those things, like, when's it going to happen? Is it going to happen now? And so we went back and forth with that a lot before we saw each other and so at that time I had been abstinent for over a year uh like I mean abstinent abstinent hadn't kissed done anything with anybody for over a year so I had no intentions of doing anything with anybody again until I was actually married and it's not uncommon for me to be abstinent I do abstinence all the time Ella, on the other hand, (laughs) has never done abstinence ever with anybody. What is that said, abstinence? So it was an interesting dynamic when we first got together. We didn't make it very far before we kissed each other because she's nasty and she's fresh. So we stopped at a gas station on the way back uh, to the city. And we were about to get out the car, and she forced me to kiss her. I forced her? I was like, "No, hey, let's go in and get these Do you hear the, the high-pitched lies in her voice? Because <laughs> I know you're hungry, and I think you'll love them. No, Ella. no. And so I'm sitting there, and right. she leans over, snow joke, and she kisses me right. on my neck. Then she kisses me near my ear. Yeah. Then she kisses me on the angle of my jaw. Yeah. Then she kisses me on my cheek. And then she, then she turns kisses her face. me at the corner of my mouth, oh but not my on my mouth. Mm. And of course, oh, of the course. normal person. The normal person. That made me. Made you. Kiss her. Made you. So I literally just turned your face and kissed you, or you turned you your own face? Basically, that's exactly what you but did. But you turned your own face. Without using your hands. And her lips felt like. 
<laughs> you know how you just what you know if you could just take your face and put them in some mashed potatoes and you just kind of fall off in the mashed potatoes because they're so soft <sighs> or you know how soft cotton candy is before you eat it like when you touch it how it feels like cotton i melted like i melted like i melted her lips were so soft she brings that up all the time yes. about how soft my lips are. Oh, man. That was so crazy. And she, <laughs> think about it right now. She, I don't know what my lips feel like to anybody else. So I don't know what it's like to kiss myself. No, mm. I mean none of us do. But she was like, it was like pillows, man. and <laughs> she had like pillow lips. I was like, man, I get used to this. So we uh. Went, got our little barbecue sandwich, and uh, we headed to the hotel, um, which was still a little weird, but we had a kiss, so that broke a little ice. It did. Um, it broke a lot of ice. <laughs> yeah. Because when we got to that hotel, uh, it was a struggle. It was a struggle. Yeah, it was definitely a struggle. The abstinence struggle was real yeah. at that point, and we thought you no, know, it would take us a while to warm up to each other because we hadn't met before, but... Yeah. After them lips touched, it was a wrap. Um, but and when I saw her in person, like she was just so much more attractive than her pictures, her videos, like everything. She just was. Wow. Oh, no, nope. see, but it goes with it. it no, goes. it does not. <laughs> it does not. And every time you do it, okay, I think about. Um, what do you think about? Old girl from Boomerang. My goodness. Yes. <laughs> Trying to smash. My goodness. Oh. So we uh, <laughs> we we ended up um going to dinner. I had uh took her to one of her favorite spots. Um she didn't know I was taking her there. And um we caught a Uber or Lyft. It was one of those. And we went to the melting pot. So, me being an overachiever, uh, meeting her for the first time, us going out on our first date, I had already had it set up. They had roses at the table. Um, so, it was cute. They had decorated it. And uh, it was an amazing night. Our first night was an amazing night. It was filled with conversation, laughter, kisses. Uh, she looked amazing. She had on a dress, and that split was popping. I took like pictures of her legs, but we uh we had a great time that night. We had a real real good time that night. She really enjoyed herself, um, and she has like a very genuine smile. So whenever you all see who we are, my favorite part about Bay is her smile. Like she just lights up, or when she blushes, she bats her eyes, and she just lights up. It, it's her smile is contagious. I be swatting people like Nance because they're so drawn to her because she just, she has a very beautiful, contagious smile, very beautiful, contagious spirit. So um, our first date night was amazing. And here we are now. It's been great. We've been on several dates. We go see each other all the time. I got like a one month minimum. I got to see you every month. (laughs) She don't be trying to hit that. Um, She's better with distance than I am. I need to see my butt, period. By any means necessary, I don't care. And when she says any means, she means I need any to see means. Her. She's not playing around. She don't even know I'm about to buy a ticket right now. Whereas, for, a few weeks. <laughs> with, for me, my personality type, I am a, very much a loner. So I'm okay if I don't see her every month. Whereas she's not okay if we don't see each other at least once every month. Yep. Um, so that actually will bring us to another topic at another time is just long distance relationships in general and how to make them work when oh, you yeah. have one person that requires a lot more attention mm-hmm. than the other because Elle requires a lot more attention than I do. But it's possible. But it's possible and you can make it you can make it work. Definitely. And then just Definitely. how to still build, bond, and connect when you have so much distance between you because yeah. we're not close enough where we can just get up and jump in the car right. and get out. We so. have to fly and if we were to choose to drive it would take a couple of days for us to get to <laughs> each other. So Right. Um, but it's ways. It's ways to 
overcome those obstacles and make your relationship work if that's really something that you want and um, it's something that we want and I believe that we've been doing an amazing job at it so we have and it's a lot of work it's not always easy and it's not yeah. <laughs> it has its definitely rough not patches. always easy it does have its rough patches but that's <clears throat> where that good communication yeah. comes in at that really helps to make it work but we'll talk about that another time as well. But we just wanted you guys to kind of get a feel for us and how we met and who we are. Oh, yeah. And. Oh, yeah. Just a small town person from Georgia met a small town person from Alaska. Where they do that at? Yes. Alaska. Born and raised. Born and raised. Not military. <laughs> Not military. Either. Everybody always assumes because I'm black, I have to be <laughs> uh, military related. And that's yeah. how I got to Alaska. Yeah. No, I'm from Alaska. My mother was born in Alaska. <laughs> right? I am an Alaskan woman. Yeah. <laughs> people are so crazy, though. Like, people like, I ain't no black people's in Alaska. Really? <laughs> Is that what yeah. we're doing? Is she in the military? A family in the military? Uh, No. She was born and raised in Alaska. <laughs> People don't ask me that about Georgia, though. You tell a tip to Georgia, they say, oh, okay. All <laughs> <laughs> right. Is that by Atlanta? No. Okay. We get it. It's not, <laughs> we get it. not even close. But, um, but, yeah, that's it for this week. Uh, oh, yeah. We'll keep it a little lighthearted. We just really want to put this one out there yeah, definitely. for you guys real quick. Definitely. Next one will... Well, we'll see what the next one will We be. like to be spontaneous. We ain't going to even spoil it for you. It won't be a spoiler alert. We just need you to come check us out. Um, come check us out. Subscribe to us. We have more yes. and more and more coming your way. Please like, comment, subscribe, and share. Email, all of that. Yes, and if you would like, as you go through and you kind of see, we get a lot of questions about how we make our relationship work because yeah. a lot of people see our relationship. Yeah. And they're like, how did you guys do this? How did you make it work? And they see how happy we are. Mm -hmm. And they always want to know certain things. So if you have any relationship questions oh, yeah. or anything like that, please feel free to email us yep. and contact us. Or if you just want to share something with people, other people on the podcast that yeah. you think might be helpful, please feel free to reach out because we'd love to share it with everyone else as well. And maybe we can learn something from you guys too. Oh, yeah. Definitely. Definitely look forward to hearing from you all and look forward to checking in with you next week. Have a blessed one.